What's good, YouTube? It's the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell, host of Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. Bringing you guys streaming media Monday through Friday. Weekends, we fire, stick, and chill. Show you the best movies you can go and look at. And then we also try to help you make money and save money in your wallets, in your pocketbooks, invest for your future. We do all that on this channel. And I'm starting a new segment, ladies and gentlemen, because I like my subscriber engagement. I like to know what you guys are thinking. I try to help you out as best I can. And this segment I'm gonna be doing is it's a tribute to my subscribers. It's the way that I'm giving back to my subscribers. I get a bunch of comments and questions on my videos. Sometimes I can't answer all of them. And sometimes these things is entertaining as hell, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they are funny as shit. And so what I'm gonna start doing, if this, if this video is successful, I'm gonna start doing a tribute to my subscribers by picking some of the funniest questions or comments and reviewing them so everybody can see them and reply to them. So if you wanna make this segment, say something funny, give me a comment, ask a question, whatever, we're gonna check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of these questions and see if this is gonna keep you guys entertained. The first comment comes from Keith Bascom, commented, what would I need to have your setup? I only have the fire stick. Well, Keith, that's an easy question. All I run is a wizard, the fusion wizard, and I just put add-ons on my fire stick and I run live TV with sling or I find different trials week to week to have on my fire stick. So right now I'm doing Specto, um, I've got Phoenix, and I've got the Exodus add-on on my fire stick, and I've got sling, I've got Nitro TV, and it's another one I've got up there that's a free trial. And that's it, my brother. That is all I run on mine. For you, just get the Fusion Wizard, or you can go over there and get the Firestream APK that's done by my man Touchtone. Put that on your fire stick, and you're good to go. Next. Next comment comes from my man Bugs Booney. It's 2016, and your audio sounds like shit. <laughs> Bugs Booney, you're absolutely right. So what did I do? I went out and got a microphone. Problem solved. Thanks for your comments, my man. Next comment comes from Tarinka Woods. And she writes in to me, I'm not savvy about the add-ons. However, you make it fun and entertaining. I'm looking for black movies and TV shows now. Thank you. Thank you for that comment, Tarinka. Hope I'm not killing your name. I oftentimes joke about Cody doing the blacks very, very dirty when it's hard to get on BET and some of those channels streaming for free, and that's no lie. So what I would tell you and anyone else to do in this whole thing is use Specto, use Exodus, find the show on those stations that you like, on those add-ons, and then you save them and you watch them as they come out. Typically these shows will come on, let's say if it come on Wednesday night at nine, it'll be on those add-ons the next day in the morning. So if you can't find a good free add-on that has those programs for you, just search for it in Exodus or um, Specto and just kind of look at it, use it like a DVR service. Or you can use Mobdro, but Mobdro doesn't have a lot of these black stations. So that would be your path of least resistance if you're trying to do it for free. Let's move on to the next one. Ah, hell, here we go. American Patriot. You lost me on the BET, crybaby, unending shit. So I made a joke about it's hard to find black stations such as BET, um, OWN and all that good stuff in the free streaming media world of Cody and the American Patriot didn't like it. Oh well, with the name like American Patriot, I pretty much have an idea where you're going with your shit. And um, you can go back to Africa, Mr. American Patriot and see if you can find an American Patriot over there. My comment is in total totality of the fact that it tends to be very hard to find own and African American stations free in Cody for live streams. And if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. Obviously you ain't no real damn American Patriot or you'd be accepting of the fact that we as African Americans have our own little subculture of things we wanna see streaming content 
I respect you and you wanting to wave the flag and the Confederate flag, whether I like it or not. And we're going to keep it moving. Next question. Oh, here we go again. I made the same comment on this video about it being hard to find the black station. And this guy calls me a stupid racist. Well, would you like me better if you see me when I first got out the shower and I was completely ashy and I almost looked white like Sammy Sosa? Would I not be a racist then? Fuck out of here, man. Jeez. Can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, moving right along. Oh, here's an interesting one, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this one. This was a comment on a video I did about Serena Williams getting engaged to uh, the guy that owns or the co-owner of Reddit. Joanne Reeks writes, Ricks writes in and she says, maybe we need to listen to the older generation. They seem to know the reason why we shouldn't mix our seed. The Bible clearly tells us not to mingle our blood with Gentiles, especially the Israelites, but most black people don't know they are Hebrew Israelites. It has nothing to do with emotions. It's the law of the Most High. Okay, Miss Joanne, all I got to say about that is when people start throwing that type of stuff into religion, that's what creates more and more atheists across America. You know, some of us don't believe in the Bible. Some do. Some have their own perception of the Bible. But we all have to live in this world and get along. And I do not believe in the fact that because I'm black, I can't date a white person or make kids with them. Now, there are going to be some barriers that you're going to deal with when you do that. But to say that we all shouldn't get along and co-mingle, I just don't agree with that. And to me, it seems like the world has become a better place when we do have more diversity. That's my two cents on that. And someone gave her a rebuttal to that comment that was pretty interesting. Let's click on this one. The rebuttal was from my man, One Punch Man. The Bible was also A-OK -okay with slavery, killing kids that don't listen to you, and killing folks that work on Sunday. Yet I don't think you'd be OK with that, would you? I can't stand it when folks try to rationalize their own bigotry and prejudice by hiding behind some old book of tales. I absolutely agree. You know, people are utilize the Bible and almost any other thing when it's convenient for their narrative. But he's absolutely right. The Bible was OK with slavery, OK with killing people and all kinds of crazy stuff that we do not do in a civilized society because we have science and technology and we know better. Great comment. Next, Mike Stowe was excited to get this then I did and go to stream and nothing. This guy should update and let people know if it has been taken down. Good comment, my man. And I do, I usually go into my videos if I know it's not working and just say, click the link in the video description box to see the updated copy. And a lot of times people don't do that. So if you've been victim of that, be sure to click the video description box and see, or you can read posters comments. You know, sometimes we don't take down videos as YouTube because they've been bought by other outside companies or someone paid us to put those videos up there. Maybe a developer paid to have that video put on as a way to garner an audience, whether it works or not. One of my videos was purchased because they enjoy the entertainment value on it. They don't care whether or not the content works. And they did allow me to go up there and say that the video has been updated or the URL has been updated somewhere else. So great post, Mike. And here's another one similar to that. <laughs> John Wynn writes in, bag of fucking shit won't install don't waste my time by putting stuff on that don't work well mr win the shit worked when i put it up there and it obviously worked because you're seeing the video with the shit working but did you open the video description box mr win you probably didn't always check the video description box and also check the viewer comment. That's why I say leave, comment, engage, because sometimes when these go out, you can read a viewer description box and save yourself some time. Damn, John. All right, and we're gonna finish this up with, oh, here's one for my Filthy McNasty gang. Check a look at this one. I did a video on how to get the newest and best adult XX that Cody, that, that are on Cody, and it was taken down by YouTube because I got a little too rambunctious, ladies and gentlemen, but my man, XMX Squad wrote in, I jizzed so hard with this add-on. Some got on the ceiling. Good God almighty. 
Damn, squad, you were backed up for months, bro. Hey, you need to start getting you some action, buddy. Because if you got that much jizz, you laying on the floors going to the ceiling, you might have some blue ball problems in the future, bro. Hey, stay up. Or should I say, stay down. And last one, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. Tavi Meach. I am one of your 50 plus streamers. Just word, just the word technical gives me the shakes. With the remote in hand, I followed your tutorial. It worked instantly and perfectly. Much love to you and the folks who made it possible. Hey, much love to you too, my 50 plus guy. I kind of got into this thing because I wanted to help people that are older keep from having that bang your head on the wall feeling, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you've got in this medium, this is a great way to save money on your streaming media and on your movies and all that. And I wanted to help people, but I know for a lot of my old folks, it can be very frustrating. So I set out to make these videos as simple and as easy as possible for them to do it. And there's a testimony of someone who has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make the, I don't know what I'm going to call this segment, tribute to the posters, life gain stinks. You guys let me know what should I call it. But if you want to make this segment, leave me a comment. If it's funny, you might get posted. If it's a good question, it might get posted. But this is a way I want to try to engage you, my subscribers, to know what's going on in your mind, to know where I'm doing good, when I'm doing bad, to try to make this not just my channel, but a channel for the subscribers as well, because I want your input. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Always check that viewer description box, ladies and gentlemen. Check out my past videos. Check out my affiliates. Do business with me. Do business with them. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.